Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with my next video, and this is another round of live action for you guys. Uh, gonna be recording some attacks live as they happen in this war against Omega Labs. They're a feeder to Reddit Omega, I think, so definitely a very competitive, uh, high level war clan. Should be a fun war. We've already had some attacks happen, and uh, they've started to go for our nines mainly. And same with us. We haven't done quite as many attacks, but uh, both clans coming out, getting some three stars. So it's been a good war so far, and hopefully should have some live action uh, very soon that I can record. So uh, sorry if I sound a little bit sick, because I am. But regardless, I'm going to be sitting back, uh, waiting for some attacks to go in live. And uh, I'll be back with the first one in just a moment. Okay, here we go. Uh, Yaji going in live against number nine uh, has a interesting army cooked up. Looks like a, te a corner Tesla popped. I'm not sure. Uh, he might drop like a minion there or something to get it to pop. So that is an issue. This guy has a lot of Teslas on the outside. Another one there. But basically, what he's doing is he's dropping down some balloons, getting some free trades on these mortars, uh, and actually drops one on that Tesla there. So that works out nicely. Uh, looks like he's just dropping some troops all around the base. Uh, taking out some trash buildings, archers, minions, uh, so that's all good there. Get some of that percentage down. Going in with a kind of a queen charge, uh, those two hogs are going to get in there. Uh, possibly trigger some traps. Looks like they didn't get any giant bombs, but they got the CC lure at least. So out comes the baby dragon, the witch, um, all that stuff in there. Pops the queen's ability because she was getting a little bit low. He does have one rage, I'm not sure what that's for. and. Uh, Still has four balloons left and ten Valks. So it looks like he'll probably come at the base from like maybe the top or something, or maybe the side here. Uh, but he doesn't have any hogs unless there's hogs in the CC, uh, which I guess is possible, but no, has the Valks in the CC. So that's a solid like 13 Valks going in there with the king. Pretty solid force, uh, kind of meeting up with the queen. So that's always nice when you have your uh, two forces meeting up, although it is going to take the queen a while to get through that wall. But anyway, some wizards to create that funnel should push the Valks into the base. Has that rage for them. I'm not a huge fan of raging up the Valks because they're pretty much already out of it at this point. Uh, didn't get a whole lot of value for it. A better, another heal would have been a lot better in my opinion. Because at Town Hall 9, everything's so spread out, usually in these bases, that the rage is really not going to do much because they're moving through pretty quickly anyway. Uh, but regardless, the Valks kind of did their job for the most part. They took out the core of the base. He has these four balloons which he can't really drop quite yet. He can kind of drop them at the top there, but they're not going to do a whole lot. And unfortunately, that wizard tower is going to take down some of those low-level Valks, or low-health Valks, because they're all starting to go down. Uh, but anyway, the queen is moving through. This is going to be a three-star, I think, because uh, even though the queen's ability has been used, uh, she's tanking, at least for the balloons, and they should get in there and take out both those archer towers. And uh, at this point, all that's left is stuff that can target ground troops. So he still has those balloons, the king, the wizards. Uh, wasn't the cleanest attack, but it'll get the job done. Has 30 seconds, so that's time is not an issue. Got the job done, and like I said though, that's kind of one thing that stood out to me in this attack. It was very well planned, but the one thing is with that rage, unless the Valks are going into like some kind of hugely uh, concentrated area of all these defenses and buildings touching each other, don't rage Valks at Town Hall 9. At Town Hall 10, yes, when you have, especially when you have Inferno Towers, a lot of high HP buildings, yes, you can use it then. But at Town Hall 9, I wouldn't recommend it. So anyway, uh, we will do the Wu Train. And uh, yeah, it was a little sloppy, but got the job done. So nice attack to Yaji. Uh, wherever it takes to get the 3-star at Town Hall 9. So good stuff there. Should be back with another attack soon. So stay tuned. Be right back. Okay, here we go. We got Anthony going in. Uh, let me just, <clears throat> one second, we'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. Had to uh, just do something right there. But anyway, uh, taking a look at this attack, looks like he lured out the CC with a few hogs there, uh, or a few balloons, I'm not sure. Kind of missed the beginning. Things like a, one balloon and one hog or something. Uh, got the CC pulled out, went ahead and dropped down that golem. And then oh, the wizards and the queen behind it. That golem is taking a lot of damage right there. It already busted because there's both heroes. I had the CC troops on it, all those defenses in the area. So quite a bit of DPS around this area. But um, as soon as these Valks go down, they should tear through this part of the base pretty quickly. Uh, doesn't need a jump or anything for them. They'll just make their way through the wall right here. Has the wall breakers and the CC, but that's not going to do much besides open up that little mini compartment right there. The queen is taking a bit of damage, but looks like 
uh, the Archer Tower got off her. Goes ahead and pops the ability anyway. Has the Rage, which once again I'm not a huge fan of at Town Hall 9. I just don't think it's worth it because they're already out of the Rage at this point. I think just another heal would have been better. But regardless, uh, he still has plenty of heals, has two more. And the Valk's kind of split right here. Looks like they're triggering some giant bombs, um, helping out the hogs a little bit. They go with a few hogs that he has, like only five of them. They make their way in, taking out these defenses. Goes ahead and heals those Valks at the bottom, as well as the Valks at the top. Also healing the hogs, which is a good value there, getting both troops healed up. But anyway, this base looks like it's pretty much toast here, because he still has the king up with the king's ability, if nothing else. Those Valks should get a few more buildings. That one hog there is on the archer tower while it's distracted, so that'll go down. Pretty much just this uh, cannon. Looks like this guy has a troll Tesla. We've seen that in a lot of their bases. I think, if nothing else, they know they're going against a pretty high-level war clan, so they want to try to avoid the fresh three stars if they can, uh, but I don't think that Tesla's going to make a difference. Has the poison for the skellies, which is a nice touch there, and uh, 57 seconds. This one should be an easy three star. We'll go ahead and get it started with the Wu train, and uh, yeah, awesome attack there to uh, Anthony getting the three star. Has those Valks going over there to get that Tesla taken out. And second time we've seen this troll Tesla, so sneaky stuff by them, but not sneaky enough to get the job done on us. Anyway, though, that'll, that'll do it, and uh, we'll sit back. Hopefully get a few more attacks for you guys. Um, still pretty early in the war, so I'm not sure how I'm going to finish off this video. But should get a couple more, so I'll be right back with those. Stay tuned. Alright, here we go with the last attack. Uh, we have Nate going in live, and I uh, missed maybe the first 10 seconds of this. He puts down a baby dragon, it looks like, at the bottom. Some minions, the queen up top. Uh, kind of a weird base layout, but he's kind of doing a charge with his queen. Uh, dropped in some wall breakers. I guess he wants her to kind of start heading to the right side of the base uh, towards where the king is. But anyway, the CC troops are coming out. Quite a bit of defenses here for the queen to deal with. Uh, it looks like the cannon, the archer tower, and the CC troops are on her. That has the rage. She should be up for a while. I uh, went ahead and used a double poison actually, which not a whole lot of value. Typically one poison is uh, all you're going to get going to get value for. But anyway, uh, the queen did her job, coming in with some giants and some wizards on the left side, uh, trying to create a funnel for his Valks. Probably could have done this a little more efficiently if he just used some minions or something at the beginning, because he probably could have snuck some in. Uh, but anyway, the Valks are going into the base, which is the important part. Goes ahead and drops a giant and a wizard, which is a nice touch for that wizard tower. A few Valks are going back around, but for the most part, they're going into the base. Uh, the queen actually did go down. I, I didn't see how that happened. Uh... I, I think he had the the second rage for her, but just I kind of missed that. It looks like she just went down, uh, didn't get the rage down quick enough or something. He does have quite a few Valks left up. He needs to use that second heal. Yeah, it needs to go down now. There's a lot of damage. Although the healers are on the king, so they, they were healed up for a little while before the second heal went down. So might still have a shot here. Here come a few hogs, uh, get into that archer tower. Yeah, I don't know. It's going to be close, maybe. The Valks are kind of a little bit split now, uh, which isn't good to see because they're kind of easier to pick off when they split up like this. Uh, yeah, I don't think he's going to get this, actually. The king is up, but uh, there's quite a few walls separating all these defenses, and uh, his troops are kind of petering out right here. So anyway, it looks like it's not going to be a three-star. Nice try to Nate, uh, but as his troops continue to move around, that wizard tower is going to take quite a few of them down and still has a number of defenses left. So got a pretty good chunk of the base taken out, but couldn't quite get the job done. Uh, yeah, nice try to Nate. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, like I said, I'm not in this war, so I wanted to record some live action uh, because I couldn't do a live attack. This was a nice way to show some of our guys going in live. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bisect the Toronto.